Now when you're soldering, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a soldering iron, obviously, solder. And I'd also recommend just having a damp sponge nearby just to keep the tip of your soldering iron clean. The other thing we need to do is also tin. Tin the end of our soldering iron and tin the components we're wiring to. So all that means is essentially we just want a coating of solder on the tip like so. And we'll do that for our wires as well and our lugs. The first thing I want to do though is protect, protect the finish of the guitar. As I said, the volume pots are the ones at the front. This one's our neck. And we'll work with that one first. So I just use a little template here, but you don't need anything like this. What you're really just trying to do is make sure that you've got a stable base for the components while you're soldering. And as I said, I'm just gonna quickly tin the tips of these wires. That's just using some of the solder that's already on the iron. In many cases, the wires will actually come tinned from the factory as well. And I'm just going to thread. So we really need to connect that hot wire to the input. So I'll also just tin the end of that lug. So I'm just applying a small amount of heat to the lug first and just dripping a little bit of uh, just a little bit of solder onto that and that'll just help help the uh, the wire or help our connection. Then you want to thread it through the lug like so, through the eyelet. And all we really want to do is just apply some heat to that lug, just for a few seconds. Once there's enough heat, start feeding some solder into that. And lastly, we need to just connect this earth wire to the back of the pot. We ground all the components in our wiring individually. So the lug must be connected to the back of the shield and that's then connected as part of a ground circuit, which eventually is connected to the bridge. Now the strings pass directly across the bridge, which means we've got a return, return path to the amp. Got that hot now, just gonna drop some solder. Okay, so that's a bridge volume in place. Next thing I want to do is connect our neck, pick up to our neck volume. If you can thread that, thread that hot wire through, in this case we might not be able to. So I'm just going to Again, just keep the tip of that, that iron tin. Trying to hold that in place with the iron if I can. I really just needs a, a coating like, like so. Okay, so the last connection we need to make is to our neck volume. Now I've already put some solder on the back of that. I'm going to then just connect that, uh, that ground. So just remember the uncoated wire goes directly to the back of the pot. Now it wouldn't really matter which which pot I'm just putting it to the neck because that's the one that's closest. Now the the hot wire from the neck pickup should go to the output lug of this volume. As you can see we've already got a bunch of wires coming from our pickup selector to our input just here. So we can connect this one to the output. Okay, so I'm just going to heat up that lug again. And that's our neck volume. 